as thy wish, O oh my lord Aladdin. I summoned you to hear my last command. Speak it, O oh master. To hear is to obey. This lamp, with all its power for good or ill, when I am gone, may pass to hands unworthy of the gift. It is my wish that this may be prevented. O oh, noble Aladdin, thou hast but to take the lamp and hide it in the earth from whence it came. Thank you, my faithful slave. And with these thanks, farewell. make a noise like that. Always advertise themselves. The Navy does the work and the Marines get the credit. There's no need to get so heated, John. Yes, you're making a lot of fuss about nothing, Danny. Nothing? Is that what you call nothing? Having your photograph taken in a state of semi-nudity to advertise some of his beastly cigarettes? It's only my head and shoulders. The rest of them is in the bath. How dare you be photographed in a bath? Everybody does. Besides, they give you four guineas for it. Why, even Lady Stretton Bradshaw was... Don't tell me they photographed her in a bath. No, Daddy, she was taking a shower. Well, it's disgusting. What will everybody think of me? I've been the laughing stock of the fleet. Daddy doesn't mind how many collies I smoke. Goodbye, little yellow bird. I gladly make with you. I love you, little yellow bird. But I love my freedom too. So goodbye, little yellow bird. I would rather face the cold on a leafless tree than a prisoner be in a cage of gold. <laughs> No, 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 no. Good stuff like that. That's enough, Yeah.
she's dying. She did three flights beautifully. Well done. Two shillings. She's made a mistake. No, she hasn't. She thinks it's such a play. There's an idea. If we stick with the soldiers, other people will think it's such a play, and we get some more silver. That's right. Why should we play when they can work with us? I'll go down with the hat. Alf, you go over that side. You two go this side. Charlie, you go up in front. Hurry up, that move. Come on, Cecil. over there. Looks like some of the recruits have lost themselves, sir. Leave it to me, sir. Carry on, Sergeant. He must be a philanthropist. Tell me like lads. What can I do for you? This gentleman says you can get money here for nothing. Of course you can. You've come to the right place. Do we have to work for it? Work? Certainly not. Just go in that little office over there and sign your names. Come on, I'll take it myself. Here, I once knew a bookmaker gave all his money away. That's right. That's yeah, right. Money, money for nothing. Just what I've been waiting for. Follow me. Isn't he a nice sort of fella? We must ask him round to tea. Yeah. Oh, it's a pity we didn't find this place before. Yes, all I had to do was to say 99, cough and collect. Yeah. Two and nine for ten minutes' work. Yeah, that, that's 16 and six an hour. That's about six pounds ten a day. That's uh, 40 pounds a week, that's 2,000 a year. Yes, but don't forget the income tax. That's 500 pounds. Yeah. 500? Where am I going to get 500 pounds? If you don't get it, you get put in jail. Ah, well, all roads seem to lead the same way. Next two. Somebody's locked it. We'll go outside and ring the bell. If I could ring the outside bell from the inside, I wouldn't have to go outside, would I? Well, bring the outside bell inside and I'll ring it. Hey, sailor, have you got the keys to this door? Well, there's no need to be rude about it. Come on, boys, let's cut off his retreat. Get in, Parker, and stop. Let him get through there. Got it, don't I should have pulled this to the war office. Now then, you lot, what are you up to? Well, if we can open that gate, we want to go home. Home? We live there. You live here. This is your home. What? You've signed your name. You've got your money, haven't you? Yes. Then you're in the Marines. Oh, oh. Oh, shut up, Cecil. You mean we've got to stay here all day? All day? <laughs> you're here for the next 12 years. Oh, 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 oh. oh money, money, money. Now, you're all strangers to me and I'm a stranger to you. But we're going to know each other pretty well before I'm done with you. A uh, nice-looking bunch, I don't think. If I was to boil her down, I couldn't make a decent marine out of the lot of you. Now, that nice sergeant has changed, eh? Silence! Pull your stomachs in and stick your chest out. What's all this? That's what he cut the braid on. Stop talking! Look at that rifle. You see where he's got his? Then put yours there. On your shoulder. Now then, present. Up! Not to me. Get back as you were. Now then, wait! Stop! Quick! Very good, sir. 
Now then, when you're dismissed, you'll go to the clothing store and draw your uniform and see that you keep them smart. Pleasure them. Keep them clean. Treat them like you would your wives. Shake them every morning. Squad. Serious. Ice. Ah. Oh. Here, 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 here. Make mine double-breasted with one hip pocket. Get out of the road. Cut mine with the dicky seat. You take what we give you. Yeah, I'm first. I'm first. Cut mine on the slant. Thirty-six and a half. Thirty-six and a half. Thirty-six and a half. Not too tight underneath the arches. Thirty-six and a half. Thirty-six and a half. Thirty-six and a half. Yeah. Have it sit round for me. Thirty-six and a half. Oh, yeah. Thirty-six and a half. Yeah. Thirty-six and a half. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight? Tell me, Mr. Shorthouse, how do you get this lovely physique? By getting up early in the morning and going straight back to bed. Oh. What's the idea? Dirty button. Dirty button. Dirty button. Dirty button. Hip. Dirty button. Dirty trick. Don't blame me that passed it down. I'm not going to have it, I tell you. I'm not going to have it. What's the matter with it? Dirty button, Sergeant. You've got all the evening to clean this. What, tonight? My dog comes to give me a farewell dinner. You all stay in and polish that button till it shines like a signal lamp. And all your other buttons. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. You're in the Marines now. The finest unit in the British Army. And tomorrow we are joining His Majesty's shipping victor. You're in the first draft. We're going on a drafty boat. A windjammer. You're going to see the world. You're going to uphold the honour of the British flag on all the seven seas. Here, if we're going to sail the seven seas, I should be seasick seven times in 77 separate spasms. Commander, this the men. Aye, sir. Officers, this, miss! Carry on, Sergeant. This section, left, turn! Don't you know you're left from your right? right. As you were! Turn! Left, turn! Right wheel, quick, march! Left, right, left, right, left, right, pick him up! He's up, kids it! Left, right, left, right, left! Out, right down! What's the idea of coming on parade without a belt? I never wear a belt, I always wear braces. Look. Well, get one quick! No, that's a do, that's He's a do! Hop that! You're for it. Whose hat have you got on? Him. Then where's yours? He's got it. Well, change them over. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You're going to cop it. You've got a button undone. Where? I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you get into trouble. Nice pal, you turn up. <laughs> You've got a button undone. Told you. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not talking about you, him. Stand up when I'm talking to you. <laughs> so you haven't cleared it, eh? I lost my toothbrush. <laughs> Silence in the ranks! Isn't he arse? Silence! You're here to do as you're told. And if you're told to clean your buttons, then you'll clean your buttons. This looks like it hasn't been cleaned for a thousand years. <laughs> please, please. Now, front rank, stand fast. Rear rank, dearest miss. Now, you lot, get this into your heads. You ain't gonna get no free time until your kit's clean. Now, back to your quarters at the double. Come on, double up. What does he mean, double up? Here. Take this up here. <laughs> Come on, that's your turn. Come on, hurry up. I'm waiting for you. Come on. Shining, look. I deny it. You've been swapping tunics. Oh, well, my joke. Hey, 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 Now, my lads, 
Do any of you play cricket? I do. Me too. I belong to the MCC. What, the Melbourne Cricket Club? No, Middlesex County Council. Yeah, the Senate in Yeah. Yeah. I know more about cricket than all this lot put together separately. Oh, do you? My father was a pro. He was always playing cricket. I'd have never been here if Rain hadn't stopped playing. So you know all about cricket then? Yes, sir. Good. Lieutenant Hardy wants a Batman. <laughs> <laughs> A little of this will do you good, Doc. Get some of that fat off. Look at your corporation. You look at it. I've seen it. <laughs> well, I suppose you come in for a drink. Well, I wonder how long you'll be coming round to it. Help yourself. You usually do. Uh -huh. Oh, I seem to disturb the lady in her bath. Who is she? I wish I knew. I cut her out of a magazine and spent a fortune in stamps trying to find out her name. <laughs> Why didn't you write to the advertising firm? I did. They told me that if I sent 500 coupons, I could have a coffee pot. Come in. I found your Batman, sir. Well, I'll be going. I'll save my coupons for you. <laughs> Marine Egan, sir. Please to me. Go. All right, Sergeant. Well, now, Higgins, I want you to clean the buttons on that tunic. Yes, sir. Clean the buttons on the tunic. Yes, yes. give my mess jacket out and give it a brush. Brush all the mess off your jacket, yes, sir. You'll find all the things you want for cleaning on the top shelf in that cupboard there. Over there, yes, sir. Do you want me to clean up everything I find, sir? Yes, as much as you can. Well, that's feasible, sir. That's what? That's feasible, sir. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, sorry, sir. Now, don't forget the buttons and the uniform and the shoes. Yes, sir. And oh, you can give my sword a rub, too, will you? Yes, sir. And when you finish that, your own buttons are clear they could do with a clean. The woman's work is never done. Clean the shoes, clean the boots, clean the sword. It's slavery, that's what it is. Do you hear? Slavery. Big hulking fellow like that, you think he clean his own stuff? Taking advantage of my good nature, that's all you're doing. If he wasn't such a decent fellow, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't, honestly. Hello? Vodka? That's either a drink or furniture polish. Furniture polish. Nice furniture polish. I'm on fire! We built on fire! Look at your damn! How big is You're seeing double. Serves you right. Now you'll have to clean twice as many buttons. Not me. I'm going to have them back to clear me head. Whoa, Elf, what? You've forgotten something. So I have the furniture polish. What is thy wish, your master? Well, strike me pink. To hear is to obey, your master. Well, it's all have some. That's a good idea. 
Now, kid, now, kid, what's the game? We want some of your strike. Get away. Don't be so keen to be a strike. We want some of your infection. Get away. I tell you, there's nothing wrong with me. You've got pink stripes down your face. Have a look for yourself. Oh, oh, I look like Sheffield United. That's a man, Sergeant. Look at his face. Holy Moses. If this is a joke, if it is, it's on me. Look, Sergeant, I've come over all unnecessary. Here, yeah, you better come along to the doctor at once. You fellas haven't touched him, have you? Oh, no, Sergeant. We only did this. Oh, try to catch his complaint, eh? Well, if any of you does catch it, it gets over it. Heaven help you. Follow me. I never saw anything like it. Stripes all over him. He looks terrible. Any danger it's spreading? Well, it's a risk we can't ignore, sir. Never any trouble on board. I can always trace it to the Marine. I think you ought to signal the flagship, sir. All right. In the meantime, see the men take every precaution. I will, sir. Maneuvers, but you're not messing about with me. Now listen, you lot, go and smarten yourselves up. Hurry up. We've got some doctors coming aboard to have a look at you. Here. When did you shave last? This morning. Grown a bit quick, ain't it? Yeah, I've got a very first half face, Sergeant. Well, take it below and wash it. No peace on this blinking ship. Never seen so many things to clean in my life. Go about looking for dirt with a telescope. As if a bit of dirt did anybody any harm. Master, behold a slave. How big you been to that watcher again? No, I haven't. Honestly, I haven't. Dost thou not deign to acknowledge the presence of thy humble slave? Who are you? I am Abdullah Dalilajib, the slave of yonder button. Button? Yonder button. On thy raiment. You mean this dirty old Greek? <laughs> Speak no ill of the talisman. That was once the lamp of my former master, the Lord Aladdin. Aladdin? Do you work for him? No, less, no longer. My Lord Aladdin is now resting with his father. What up on deck? Thou art now the Lord of the Battle, and I thy faithful slave. What? You work for me? Verily, master. It is for thee to command, and I thy slave to obey. Whatsoever thou dost wish, that I will bring to thee. Whatever I dost... <laughs> oh, now I know you're kidding. Did I not strike thee pink? Strike the... Oh! Oh, so it was you who was sure? Was not thy first command? Strike me pink. Here, yeah, well, don't take liberties with me. Come on, and strike me. Come on, quickly. Master, it is done. Never do a thing like that again. Come here. I can see I'll have to pick and choose my words with you. Somebody come in. Scarpa. Scarpa, Master. Do a bunk. Master, I am gone. Come on, put it down here. Mind the door. I say, what's happened? Has there been an accident? No, we come for you. You've got to take her up on deck. Look at his face. Well, what's the matter with it? Oh, Mrs. Higgins, I thought my shirt was white like I saw your face. 
What have you done with your stripes? Ha, I'm cured. Cured? But half the doctors in England have come aboard special to see them. Any lady doctors? Never mind about all that. Where's your stripes? I'm sick of being known as a disease. There's selfishness for you. We're going to lose the best job we've had since we've been on the dole. No. no. Charlie, get the red ink. Put some butter with it. Make it shine. No, no, come listen. On, hold him, hold now, don't take liberty. Hold him. Listen. Here, come in. What are you going to do? We're going to decorate the day, though. Wait a minute. I'm quite prepared to find some uh, variation of a very ordinary complaint. What about the stripes that Brown's so proud of? Mm. Possibly it's Brown we ought to examine and not the patient. Oh, <laughs> my patient, of course. <laughs> yes, I quite agree. Well, your medical colleagues don't seem to be terribly impressed, Doc. No, but they'll get a surprise in a minute. <laughs> What the devil are you doing? Give me kitchen squad, sir. Oh, sorry, sir. Steady, steady, steady. Take it easy, Cecil. Oh, oh. You wake up my mind here. Go oh, easy, you're shaking him all up my end. Now, straight up, straight up. You're going all right. That's it. Forward, forward. There you are. How's that? Never spilled a drop. Just a minute. There's something wrong here. There's a cuckoo in the nest. Oh, come on. I'm in the coat or in the procession. OK, boys. Right. Patient's escort, sir. Patient's friend, sir. Patient's bear, sir. Patient, sir. It's incredible. Perhaps you'll accept my diagnosis now. It certainly looks like exanthematous simplex. I'm glad it's not dog's disease. Dog's disease? Decorating a room. Decorating a room? Distemper, way! Oi! Tell me, how far do those stripes extend? Right down past where I was. Is it safe for those men to handle him? They're contact cases, sir. Have any of them got stripes? He got three, but I'm bloody if I know he got them. You wait. What's this? Egg and tomato triplex, like he said. Will someone kindly wipe his face with a damp cloth? Sergeant, clean that man's face. Put your tongue out. Beautiful weather we're having. Yes, we're getting nice looks lately. Lieutenant Hardy? Yes, sir. You can return your men to duty. I'll deal with them later. Yes, sir. I'd like a word with you in your cabin. Yes, sir. <laughs> now then, you scrim shanking, lead swinging, lot of dockside sweeping, get forward, dear, and take your dirty carcasses off this clean deck. Double up. What do you want? Patient, the patient wants to know, sir, if he can put his tongue back, sir. <laughs> Thanks to you and your Marines, my ship's the laughing stock of the fleet. But the medical officer? Don't interrupt. I'd have you to know that I intend to refer this disgraceful business to higher authorities. The whole of my naval career, a more shameful exhibition. What's this? What, sir? This. Oh, that that's a uh, picture of a lady, sir. I can't help seeing that. What's he doing in your cabin? A uh, girlfriend, sir. Girlfriend? How oh, very interesting. Oh, as a matter of fact, sir, she's uh, the girlfriend. Even more interesting. I admit it's a little risky, sir, but it's not her fault. You see, she, uh, she has to earn a living. Yes, she's... Uh, Got to keep her family. Oh, she has, has she? Oh, yes. Got to keep her mother and her old father. He's out of work, you know. Out of work? Yes. Had a very good job once, but... Uh, but what? Well, you know, drink. Let me tell you, sir, that lady is my daughter. Yes. What? You're... But are you sure, sir? Take it on. But, sir, I thought... Take it on at once! Work! Work! Nothing but work! We got Alf to thank for this. I've right, got a pal, you are. You're the type of fellas that would eat the sick man's grapes and spit the pips in his eye. We were still in credit till you lost the stripes. Stripes, stripes. Supposing I told you I could get him back again. Supposing I told you that I got a slave all to myself that comes whenever I want him and says, what would I? Ooh. They got him out of bed too soon. He's got delirious trimming. It's the <laughs> truth, I tell you. He's a spook. He's a scepter. He's an apparatus. You've been speaking with your knees up. <laughs> I haven't. He's a Peruvian. Had done a jelly bag. That's his name. He used to work for Cinderella. <laughs> all right, all right. Who striped me pink? How do we know? Well, who made me white again? Well, I'll buy it. Who made you white again? Had done a jelly bag. Go on, give me and make your red, white, and blue, and we'll all cheer. <laughs> all right. You've asked for it. <laughs> What does they wish, O oh Master? Truth or more? There you are. See, they wouldn't believe me. Uh, who dares to doubt my master's word? Well, him for one. Oh, baseborn son of a hairless camel! Come forth and bend the knee and beg the pardon of my master. 
Unless I blast it to the earth. Knock it, knock it. A base thyself. Come on, a base. Both knees, not one. <laughs> Kiss me foot. Kiss his foot. <laughs> well, it might have been worse. <laughs> Master, I am here to grant whatsoever thou dost wish. Well, I tell you what I do wish. I wish you'd make less noise when you come in here. But the servant of so great a lord cannot enter unheralded. But you'll get us into trouble. Can't you change your signature tune? That's right. Play something soft. I know, I know. Na da. Da 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 da. Like this, master. <laughs> Pinched. Quick, there's someone coming. Now you've done it. Hop it. Now, come on. Who was playing that mouth organ? Mouth organ? Have you heard a mouth organ? Now, that's a funny thing you should say that. Because only just now, I was thinking, I haven't heard a mouth organ for years. It's a strange coincidence. I was thinking the same thing. Only mine with a saxophone. Not so much of it. And remember, I've got my eyes on you. He's gone. Go on, bring your fella back. What, my slave? Yes. All right. I am here. Where? Here. Where are you? Oh, look. Master, I await thy command to bring thee all the splendors and riches of the East. What shall we have? Let's think of something really worth having. Beer. Think you say how thou could fetch it as six beers? Here is to obey you, master. Well, strike me! No, I didn't mean it! I didn't know! You've got a clever slave. We have for beers and he brings us coffins. I see what's happened. Those are Egyptian beers. The things they kept their mummies in. You mean to say they're in there now? Of course. Mm. Yummy. Open the door, mummy. This is dead. Ah, save me, Cecil! Here, send for that slave and have him flogged. I'd better. What is thy wish, O oh master? Here, come and look at this. Master, I am ready. That's a trouble, you're too ready. But master, I have... That'll do. You're my slave, aren't you? Yes, master. Then when you speak to me, take your hat off. Baldy! <laughs> my master is angry with me. We're entitled to be angry with you. You've brought the wrong beer. We like our beer with less body in it. Oh, my master means empty beers? No, no. We want beer jelly bags. Just beer. Look, it's a kind of a, it's a sort of a, it's a, how can you explain beer to a man who doesn't know what it is? Leave it to me. Look, it's a kind of a, it's like, no, it's not like that. I'll tell you what. It's, it's brown it's... stuff made of hops and malt with uh, froth on the top. It comes in bottles. No, barrels. Pig's ear. Wallop, you twerp. Swipe. Neck oil. Tonsil varnish. Look, look, look. Ah, my master means the beverage of Burton. <laughs> you can't half pick them. If he gets this wrong, I'm going teetotal. Me too. <laughs> Have I got a slave? <laughs> I wonder where he got all this. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. No, he might turn around and kick you in the back. Here, let's have a party. Ask the boys. What, and get put in clink if Hardy finds out? Well, he mustn't find out. We'll get your slave to keep him occupied. Oh, we'll get him. Yeah. I like that. Don't you be so free with my slave. Whose button is it, anyway? He's my apparatus. If I don't want to get him, I won't get him. Oh, don't be so selfish. We all share him, don't we? Oh, oh you're so clever. Go on, rub your button and get him yourself. Go on, Al, just a little rub. No, I'm not going to. Oh, don't be so mean. Oh, well, all right. But just this one. <laughs> Oh, you frighten me. Master, what is thy wish? Get something that'll keep Lieutenant Hardy occupied. Enlighten my understanding, O oh Master. What occupation wouldst thou have me put upon him? Don't ask me. What do you think I employ you for? Find out what he wants most and get it. Bring it here. To hear is to obey. I... That's my slave, that was. That's taken care of him. No, we'll take care of ourselves. Ah. Charlie! <laughs> <laughs> here, why don't you try this? <laughs> Shut up, everybody. I think I'll go septic. I can feel a presence. Perhaps it's that twerp. <laughs> Charlie! 
Do you see what I see? If my memory serves me, it's a woman. See what the genie's brought? Now we know what Hardy wants most. Where am I? Don't be afraid, miss. You're on board HMS Invicta. The Invicta? Yes. Why, that's Daddy's ship. Daddy's ship? Yes, he's the captain. Didn't you know? The captain? That's done it. Oh, what a funny dream. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a dream to you, but it's a nightmare to us. You, take me to Daddy. There's six of us here, and she must pick on me. Go on, do what she says, or I'll take it to Hardy instead. I'll take you to Daddy, miss. I suppose it's all right. Well, it's all right with me if it's all right with you. Oh, it's all right with me if it's all right with him. It's all right with me if it's all right with you. It's all right with me if it's all right with him. Well, it's all right with me if it's all right with you. Well, it's all right, then. Hey, if he can get her for Harvey, what couldn't he get for us? Don't be so silly. You can't have birds on a battleship. I don't see why not. Oh, fancy suggesting such a thing. I'm all for it. This she's going too far. We'll have to have one each. Aye, aye, aye. Not so close. Master, what is thy wish? Jenny, we want some birds. No, master, I will bring thee a thousand white-throated doves. What do you think we are? Nelson's column? We want wenches. Bits of skirt. Girls. Aha, damsels. Oh, master, I will bring you houris from the palace of Ming and dark-eyed enchantresses from the islands of the sun. Say but the word. Boys, what are you going to have? I'll have a bonny brunette with a beautiful bank balance. I'll have a broad-minded blonde. I'll have one that I don't have to say anything to, and she knows all the answers. <laughs> what about you? I want a redhead. One that goes out, comes in, goes out, and forgets to come in again. Here, that's six better than mixed. And don't forget one for Cecil. Mm, master, must I bring that beast-born son of a camel a damsel? You must. So be it. And what is my master's own desire? My turn. <laughs> Wait a minute. See that? That's a picture of the wife. Bring anyone but her. Aye, 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 aye. Wait in there. I'll find Daddy. But it's not... Hello? Wake up! It's only a dream. I know it is, but I wanted to go on. I've been dreaming about you for months. Have you? Yes, but someone always shouts four bells at this point and I wake up. Well, you won't have to wake up this time because you're in my dream. But I don't see how I could be in your dream when you're in mine. It doesn't make sense. Oh, dreams never make sense anyway. Why, last night I finished up in the middle of a smart hotel with hardly any clothes on. Then what happened? <laughs> I fell out of bed. Oh, well, I'm glad of that. <laughs> What's your name? Well, then I've got my coat on. I'm John Hardy, Lieutenant of Marines. Oh, how do you do, sir? My name's Francis. My friends call me Frankie. You can do if you like. Can I? Good. <laughs> Oh, I don't mind if you hold me. Of course, in real life, I'd say, how dare you, sir? But in dreams, I don't mind a bit. Hey, let's go out on deck. Good. Well, where's mine? Dear Fatsun, Lucha Pard, you should. It's in Chinese. Yes, what do you want to say? You think I'm going to tell you? <laughs> Here, this'll do me. Oh, no, she won't. Well, I hope your fence catches on fire. <laughs> Sir, you're trespassing on my preserve. Pardon me. What about me? Where's my girl? Be patient, Cecil. Jelly Bags is bringing one all for yourself. I wish you'd hurry up then. It's true. Boys, help! Help me! Get up here! Help, boys! Help! Help! Oh, do look. You see some funny things in dreams. Tell 
you, little one. Do you reverse? Yucca Kavaj. Oh, Balalaika, Balalaika. Mikey, the old man! I'm going to say that to all the boys. Here, here. Hardy. Hardy and his brother on deck. So is the captain. You'll see them. Go on, do something, do something. Hold it. What the blazes? Oh, Lord. Uh, good evening, sir. How in creation did you get... You were saying, sir? Eh? Oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> is, is that your coat? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I, uh, I thought it was your coat. Good night. Good night, sir. I hope Jelly Banks got rid of the officer's bird in time. Never mind the bird. See that he hasn't left any corks or bottles about. No, he disappeared the lot. You're not keeping anything back, are you? No. Sure? Come on, jump up. Come on, you lot. I thought you were warm for God. Whatever made you think that? Hmm? I don't want to live. Tumble out the lot of you. So, that's the game, eh? Well, it's like the sergeant. Sergeant, you're all under arrest. But sergeant, this is nothing to do with us. Hold your hands up. Oh. Now you are for it. Pitch in the ship's stores, eh? Sergeant, get out of the car. Oh, who did that? Did what, sergeant? You wait. Spike your superior, would you? I never touched you. Anyway, you're for it just the same. Oh, then I might as well do it. You'll do what? <laughs> 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 which the six men assaulted me violently, sir, doing the damage already stated. Would any of you gentlemen like to question this witness? Yes, sir. As prisoner's friend, I would. Carry on. Sergeant, what is your height? Five foot eleven, some night, sir. I believe you have quite a boxing reputation. Service as heavyweight champion, three years, sir. Heavyweight champion and nearly six feet. I would ask the court, sir, to run their eyes over the prisoners. You will agree, gentlemen, that these men are of poor physique. You'll agree to that, won't you, sergeant? Hmm. Flabby, I should call them, sir. Flabby? Why, you big bitch. Then do I understand, Sergeant, that you allowed one of these uh, flabby little men to do that to you? They did it when I wasn't looking, sir. Oh. In that case, how do you know it was the prisoners who struck you? Hmm. <clears throat> well, what is it? Can we ask this big... This gentleman a few questions? Very well. Well, what did that... Where were you on the night of 24? That's a lie. Don't evade my question. Where were you? I don't know. Hey, our gentleman, he doesn't know. I tell you, it's surgery. Perjury. Perjury. Have you or have you not a full market ship tattooed upon your back? And if so, where's the anchor? Objection. Objection overruled. These questions are quite irrelevant and totally at variance with the dignity of this court. I thought Jellybags promised to get us out of this. He said leave it to him. Attention! You're charged with mutinous conduct, assaulting a non-commissioned officer, resisting the guard, being in possession of alcoholic liquor from the ship's store. With this last offense alone, you're liable to a penalty of five years' imprisonment. You're a disgrace to the ship and a menace to the whole Navy. And... Uh... Why did you do it, boys? You must realize that it was very, very naughty of you. Stop, gentlemen, stop. I can't let this go on. It was all my fault, sir. If I hadn't provoked these poor boys, this would never have happened. Your generous admission does you credit. I'm afraid we are misjudging these men. But, sir, you're not suggesting that we should overlook this gross breach of discipline? If this sort of thing is allowed, we shall... We shall be preventing these poor men having any fun at all. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sin. I'm sorry. I think some compensation is due to these poor men for all they've suffered. <laughs> <laughs>
the lives of these bog men are so drab, so lonely. Away from all their home, most of them. Now don't cry. In future, things are going to be brighter for all of you. I promise you then, Higgins, my boy. Oh, sir, don't call me Higgins. Call me Alfred. <laughs> Well, I've attended a few inquiries, but I've never seen anything like this morning. <laughs> Can't understand the old man. He must be getting soft. Coming to me with all this pit of battle, I've told him before, don't bother me to trifle. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, he seems to be back to normal. <laughs> come in! Well, what is it? It's about the new regulations, sir. When did they come into effect? What new regulations? Concerning the prisoner's compensation, sir. What are you talking about? Your court decided that for the mental anguish the six of them had suffered, they should receive an extra shilling a day. Mold and ash, whoever suggested it. You did, sir. And the 25 pound bonus. Most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Well, sir, it's all in the order. Shamanness. Too absurd for words. Yes, sir, that's what I thought. What do you mean, that's what you thought? You questioning my orders? Yes, sir. If I say things got to be done, it's got to be done. What's your trouble? Uh, you sent for me, sir. Oh, yes. There's a political bigwig going to visit the ship. We've got to give him an official reception. Lord Wimbledon, eh, sir? Yes, he's the brighter Navy gentleman. Better conditions for poor Jack. He's a confounded nuisance. What do they want us to do, sir? I don't know, unless he expects to find us all dancing a hornpipe when he comes aboard. He must do something, I suppose. What about a ship's concert? We're already organizing one, sir. By whose orders? Yours. What? It's all on the record, sir. But uh, perhaps you'd like to cancel it, sir. Cancel it? If I order the concert, there'll be a concert. All right, sir, but who's going to perform? Mm hmm? Well, I suppose there must be some talent amongst the lower deck. Call for volunteers. Offer them extra leave. All right, sir. Oh, Hardy. Yes, sir? Don't leave those records with me. I'd like to have a look at them. Certainly, sir. Yes? Oh, Doctor, I'd like your advice as a medical man about my, um, uh, about a friend of mine. He's been presenting his staff with salary increases and then doesn't seem to remember anything about it. Only today, and I can tell you his complaint in two words. He's balmy. Thank you. None of your lips. Go to it. Well, they don't have waste time in this here navy of yours. There's no use crumbling. Let's make a start. And no slacking. What's the matter with you? You after promotion or something? Promotion? Do you want to be a gun away? A gun away? Leave the house. Leave the house. Left hand and left hand. Look, I've opened the safe. Open the safe. That's the breach. The what? The breach. All guns have breaches. What, trousers? No, not those breaches. Breach. Oh, like London Breach. Hmm. Look, that's the breach. And the shell must go in there before it can come out of the muzzle. Well, there's not a muzzle on it. <laughs> not that kind of muzzle. It's the other end of that hole. Chesh! Whew, we're going to get into trouble. Look, somebody stretched round and round the inside of this pistol. That's not a scratch. That's where the barrel's been rifled. I'll take a ticket. Rifled, not raffled. We've got thieves on board. No, the manufacturers do it. They rifle every barrel before they sell them. And nobody <laughs> says a word. Not a word. Cool, we're in the wrong business. <laughs> That's one of Hardy's letters. Who's it from? How do I know? Do you think I want to read his brother's letter? He's in debt. That's not the point. You've no business prying into his affair. Well, you're doing it, aren't you? Ah, that's different. Oh. You're quite right, Elf. He's in a mess. I told you, didn't I? Now, he's been very good to us. It's up to us to reciprocate. To what? To show reciprocity. That wasn't the word you said in the first place. Oh, it's practically the same. The terms are synonymous. Oh, I know, I know. When you write a letter and don't sign your name. That's anonymous. Well, what's the meaning of reciprocity? Well, I'm a very rich man and you're very poor. And you come to me for money. What, again? <laughs> you come to me for money and I give it to you. What would you do? Faint. Now it's your turn. Ah. You're very rich and I'm very poor. It's Vicky Verga. Yes. I come to you for money. You remember what I've done for you in the past oh, yeah. and you give it to me cheerfully. Yes, with tears running down my face. <laughs> That's what we've got to do for Hardy, you see? What, make him lose his money? Yeah, no. Boys, what? Hardy's in a mess. And after all he's done for us, I think we should do something for him. Yes. That's right. We ought to show our reciprocal docility. Oh, what? Our reciprocal docility. Read this letter. Hardy's trying to sell his house to pay his debts, but he can't find a buyer. Well, we ought to buy it from him and put him on his feet again. I wish you'd have told me before. Well, Why? I've just bought the Albert Hall. We can get jelly bags to do it. So we can. Now, you six, I've got a job for you. Any of you got any talents, sing, dance, or parlor tricks? No, we don't play cricket neither. That's a pity. I'm looking for volunteers for the concert. There's extra leaf for those that help. Me, 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 me
Bag can do something. Don't be silly, he can't sing. We can dress him up as a bearded lady. That's feasible. Charlie, go to the door. If anybody comes, give us the aye aye. Aye aye! Master, what does they wish? Jelly, we've got our stuff to do at a concert tonight, but we haven't got no stuff to do. Name of the stuff thou wantest, and I will get that stuff though I search the world. <laughs>
I was the best. Here, that was a good song we just sang. What was it? Don't be so ignorant. That was Friendly Joe. Friendly Joe? Chummy Dick. Chummy Dick. Pally Archie. Pally Archie. Oi. Where's that girl got to? I don't know. We must have both dreamed the same dream. Well, I wonder what that means. Oh, that means we must see more of each other. How about next week? I got to leave. No, so is Daddy. He's accepted an invitation to hunt with the corn. Good. That takes care of Daddy. Oh, no. I've got to go, too. Oh, after good. Just when I've done a great stroke of business and have money to burn. Daddy always told me Marines had no business anywhere. Oh, did he? Well, he's wrong, you see, because I've just sold the old ancestral home to some oriental gentleman for a packet. Oh, well, I'm sorry I can't help you spend it. For my first demonstration, I used the assistance of an assistant. Of an assistant. <laughs> and he... My assistant. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I place the subject in the chair. In the chair. And I put him under my complete control. Now, <laughs> the subject is now completely under my control, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and now, to further my demonstration, I cover the subject's eyes with a handkerchief. So... I now show you, ladies and gentlemen, what I am going to do. In my hand, I am holding a certain object. What is it? Take your time. A watch. A watch. Quite correct. <laughs> my next article, I am holding by the handle. A door. <laughs> Don't be wet. An umbrella. An umbrella is quite right. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, my remarkable powers. For my second demonstration, I require the assistance of any lady or gentleman from the audience. You. Hey, you mean you. Go on. What, me? Yes, sir. <laughs> Not likely. Look at me. Oh, I've got my eye on you. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, whilst under my influence, this gentleman, this what? Je his eyes, his eyes, oh, his sorry. eyes. <laughs> whilst under my hypnotic influence, the sergeant will do as I say and will answer any question with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, Bob. Now, sing a song. Hearts of oak are airships. Jolly tars are our men. That's enough. Shut up. <laughs> now, any questions? Hey, who pinches the men's rum ration? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Something worrying you? I'm looking for my daughter. Yes, by the way, where is she? The captain's daughter is on the boat deck with Lieutenant Hardy. They are in love. <laughs> Oh, well, of all of Oh, come, come, Captain, it's only fun. I'd like to ask a question. This will fix him. Am I married or single? Single. Quite right. Shall I ever marry? No. You will die a bachelor, like your father before you. <gasps> oh! I have to thank you, Captain Driscoll, for the most gratuitous insight. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Enough of this. The concert's over. Go, sir. Sound general quarters. I want a word with you, men. You've done it. Now we've got the old man in our tracks. If the captain comes here to win me, he'll get the biggest kick in all I've ever had in my life. Yeah. That's right. We can tell old Driscoll what we think of him. Rub the button and there you are. Oh, oh come that on. suits me. Where, Where is this captain? What about the sergeant? I'll fix him. Sing us a song. Hearts of oak on our ships. That's right. Johnny Tars on our men. We all oh, so there you are. Where are of you two be not? Boys. And stop that confounded noise. Your mother wants to speak to you. Go to her. Perhaps you'll kindly explain why you kept my daughter away all evening. Well, sir, uh, I was showing her around the ship, sir. It's like your confounded impudence. I wish you'd keep away from my daughter. I can't agree to do that. Do you find my authority? Yes, and so do I. Go on, slot him. I'll hold your coat. What are you men doing here? Shut up, sir. We're on your side. Yes, the guard. Yes, sir. excuse me, sir, but my friends and myself wish to put it on record that we think you are a proper twerp. What? Yeah, we've had nothing but trouble from you since we've been here. Marshal arms! Let's the mark it down! Come on, Elf. The button. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's on my uniform. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Where did we go from here? Jelly Badge was fine to some place. What about Hardy's old house? We bought it. We may as well use it. Where are they quartered? The last door, sir. They're coming. I'm coming. Hurry up. Where are they? Gone, sir. Gone? They can't have disappeared from a battleship? Have every available man search immediately. Yes, sir. Who's in charge of this section? Where's the sergeant? 
Pots of oak on our ships, jolly tars on our men. We always are ready. Steady, boy, steady. <laughs> Three point landing. Here we are. Doesn't look the matter. Here we are, boys. Is this ours? It's a bit big, isn't it? Well, we can always take in lodgers. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come Enter and welcome, oh master. Oh, 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 Here. I think they're listening into Australia. Don't leave them here, they get house business. What that he said? Here, it sounds like two home and one away. It's those words that do it. Yes. yes. What, two home and one away? Yes. And now they're off again. Ah, and it's funny. Aye, aye, aye. Let me have a go. Two home and three away. Oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all the <laughs> Hey, who's paying for all this? It is the privilege of my dog. Who, me? Yes, Lord. What am I paying for this orchestra and these slaves and, and these girls? Go home and run away. If it is money that I want to store, Lord. Oh. Ah, oh. Here, here. Look, he's been at the gas meter. Ha, this must be all money. I can't smell the mint. Those coins have not been used for 10,000 years. Where'd they come from, Aberdeen? Hey, is this the only kind of money you've got? My lord is not satisfied with this money. We want money to spend. We can't change this stuff at the co-op. I know. I'll grab the button. Yeah. Yeah, fetch old useless. <laughs> you sure to muck everything up. <laughs> no twerp. Master, what is their wish? We want money, currency. Yes, Bank of England note. Uh, to hear is to obey, your master. <laughs> For ten thousand pounds. They'll see you for ten thousand pounds. Wait a minute, how much is all that? Oh, about thirty thousand pounds. All right, I'll double it. Sixty thousand. Wait a minute, you haven't got sixty thousand there. All right, well, fifty thousand then. That's better. Live within your income. My lord, a stranger craves audience. That's very nice of him. Uh, Woolworths. Here, it's Lieutenant Hardy. Hardy, what's he doing here? If he sees us, we're sunk. What are we going to do? Rub the button. Rub the button. Is that the only recitation you know? I know little pussy's Christmas. Shut up. This is serious. There's only one thing to do. Get jelly bags to give us a dem folk. Dem folk? These men. These men? These guys. These guys? This guys. This guys. Oi! Oh, hey. Mr. Harden. Yes, sir? Oh, there you are. I'm too, too devastatingly sorry to have kept you waiting, my dear Hardy. Oh, that's quite all right, Mr. Uh... Uh, Brown. Brown, my dear sir. Pronounced Breffington. One of the uh, Breffington Browns with an oh. E, yes. Are you the gentleman that bought this house from me? Oh, dear, no, no, no. That's the Parawana of Shoveborough. Shoveborough? Yes, yes, pronounced Pushcart. He's over here with his suite. Such a nice little thing she is, too. Out in the war office and all that nonsense, you know. Looking after his interests and whatnot, etc., etc., etc. Would you uh, care to see him now, or uh, shall I get my people to issue a white paper. 
<coughs> well, I... Uh... Oh, by the way, do, do, do you speak Hindustani? Oh, yes, a little. You do? Yes. Oh, splendid. Uh, Grecian? Yes, just a smattering. Mm. <laughs> splendid. Uh, Persian? Uh, no, no, I don't. No. You don't? No. Oh, splendid. Then we're talking Persian, shall we? Yes. Uh, would you come this way? Who's been eating garlic? He's coming. Chuchin Chow Alibaba, Mr. Hardy of the Marines. Pleased to meet Mr. Hardy. Always pleased to meet English naval. Thank you, Your Highness. I'm sorry to trouble you, but, well, your agent who settled for this house paid me in these oriental coins. Tail. Silence, I cut your throat. <laughs> they're antiques. Actually, they're worth four times the value of this property, but unfortunately, they're not legal tender. I knew they wouldn't take them at the co-op. Pay the gentleman. Mm. Uh, how much is this? Mm. Well, 5,000 pounds is the agreed price. Oh, can you change a 10,000 pound note? Mm. Good heavens, no. Oh, never mind. What's over? We'll pay for your fares. That's feasible. I beg your pardon? That's feasible. That's strange. <coughs> Why, what's the matter? Those words sound familiar. <laughs> change the subject. Quick. Tell his fortune. Abracadabra. Gilly, 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 gilly. One chicky, two chicky. <laughs> Oh, Mahatma's an amazing man. He's what they call a soothsayer. I see one children, two children, lots of children. They are singing. It's the old tinnies. Will you uh, place your digits upon the crystal? Yes. Now, what can you see? A bunch of bananas. These fingers, battleships. Oh, yes. They're not bananas. No, no. They're battleships. It's battleship. Can you see the name? There's something written on the side. It's coming closer, closer. Tell me more. Tell me more. Now I can see what it says. What does it say? Keep off the propellers. You got the ship round the wrong way. She's got the battleship the wrong way round. Amazing, amazing. Invicta. <clears throat> amazing. This is it's the Invicta. Invicta? How did he know that? I see a young marine officer who desires the captain's daughter. What? Uh, don't interrupt, old chap, please. <laughs> the captain's daughter stands on the battleship. Oh, you're wrong there because I happen to know she's gone hunting. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> hunting seems to be a peculiar pastime for a seafaring man or a dozen. Oh, I don't know. When I could afford it, I used to run a pack of hounds here. Oh, splendid, splendid. I always did say there's nothing like a good yoik. <laughs> However, we're interrupting the Mahatma. <laughs> what, more? Just a little more. Wedding bells. <laughs> Just a little more. I see bells ringing, bells tolling, bells chiming. That's a lot of bells. <laughs> All right, come and do better. <laughs> what, must you really be going? Well, I... What a pity you can't stay to tip in. We've got a marvellous chuckle of pot. I was just... There, there, there. I expect you've arranged your lunch at the hotel. Would you say goodbye to His Highness? <laughs> goodbye, Mr. Hardy. If I don't see you anymore, hello. Goodbye, Your Highness. Good morning, gentlemen. My dear Hardy, any time you're passing, do drop in. We're always here. If we don't go out. <clears throat> I mean the uh, climate, that is, of course. You see, until the uh, Mahatma gets his winter loincloth. <laughs> well, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sweating. Well, well Hardy's got to be helped even if we're found out. But how? The captain's crazy about hunting, no? Yes. yes. Then we'll have a hunt here. What way? We could jelly bags give Hardy's dogs and horses back, push him up as a march of the hunt, and maybe the old man will let him marry his daughter. Yeah, but suppose the old man won't come. Oh, won't he? We'll get jelly bags to fetch him. Give me my tunic. All right, ah. grab your button. Ah. But if he tries any funny stuff this time, I'll knock him for six. Where is he? Come on. Oh, <laughs> Master, what is thy wish? Tomorrow morning, I want you to arrange a hunt. My master has lost something. Lost something? No, you twerp. <laughs> the weevil. Leave him alone. You're always on to him. Now, listen. We want to go hunting. All you've got to do is to get something to run away, and uh, we'll chase it. Do you understand? It shall be done, master. <laughs> shall be done, oh, master. Yes, done all wrong as usual. Oh! Except for the bank officials, not a single fingerprint anywhere. One of the smartest jobs I've ever seen. Well, the only thing we can do is to circulate the numbers to all stations. Jellybag's idea of a hunt. That's word. Well, I'm not jumping the hedges on an elephant. 
Hey, and another thing. Do those hands look right to you? My master's no reason terms for the home. What, in these? Why, if I went out and let everybody would call me Doris. <laughs> Where's my tunic? Ah. Master. What, what is, is thy wish? wish? I wish you'd show a bit of common. Do you call this a hunt? My master wishes more elephants. No, you mutt. Elephants went out with Cleopatra. Now, Anthony went out with Cleopatra. But they hunt for them in the east. Well, go up west a bit. Modernize your ideas. Read the papers. Yes, go to the pictures. Pictures? Yes, the movies. Bring yourself up to date. Look, useless. This is the sort of hunt we have nowadays. We want horses, hounds, clothes, guests. Has all that sunk in? Yes, so, master. Horses, hounds, clothes, guests. Horses, hounds, clothes, guests. And go to the picture. Hmm. Horses. What hunt is this? There hasn't been a hunt here for years. I know, but one this morning. You certain, Amelia? This isn't another of your dreams? This is no dream, Wellington. I know there's a hunt, and we're going. Oh. Hello? Oh, oh. Wearing pink today, sir? No, at the last moment, I couldn't find my coat. Extraordinary, the same thing happened to my britches. Oh! Charming hospitality. Wellington. My dear, I'm convinced that maid of mine took my habit and sold it. <laughs> Behold, my lord and master's abroad. Shut up, Cecil. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me diabolical pleasure to greet such noble pebbles from the British Isle. <laughs> Look! Excuse me, please. Excuse us. We just missed you in five. Just a little bit. Well, I hope you enjoyed the meeting. Oh, excuse me, miss. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Pardon me. Here, here. Hardy. Yes, I've seen him, but I haven't seen the girl. I wonder what's happened to her. I expect that twisted jelly bag's messed everything up again. I'll go in the cloakroom and call him. Struth, look who's here. What's happened to you? Well, I'd say I was a catcher all a skate, sir. <laughs> Take a gander at me, Bozo. Take a gander at me. Huh? He's up the pole. Hey, listen, dope. Pipe down and I'll push your pan in. What do you think you are? Oh, gee, boss, you told me to go to the movies to get wise to myself. And you got all that from the pictures? Sure. Swell again, Benny. Never mind about that. While you've been messing about with the pictures, you've mucked up my plans. Oh, gee, boss. Oh, am I mortified? Where's the girl? You didn't say nothing about no girl, boys. What's the good of the hunt without the girl? Okay, Chief, okay. If you want to hunt dames... We don't, but that's who the hunt was for. Do you remember that girl that you brought to the boat for Hardy? What? The blonde skirt and the striptease? Well, we sure. want to hear now. Quick. Okay, boss, okay. Don't get antsy pantsy. And her daddy. A sugar daddy? A father. Oh, her pop. Blimey, what a twerp. Listen, Mug. From now on, you're going to smile when you say that to me. Get me? Okay. 10.15, good heavens, we'll never be there in time. Daddy, stop worrying. We've got quarter of an hour yet. Once a year, we get a chance to hunt with the quarter, and that day we have to be late. For heaven's sake, step on it, man. Dumbwater Manor, sir. What? Dumbwater Manor, sir. Well, what are we doing here? You wanted to hunt. Of course I wanted to hunt. But why here? This isn't the quorum. No, Daddy, it's Dumbwater Manor. The address is on the invitation. Invitation? Where does that come from? I don't know. And look, there's Williams with our horses. Good. 
calling, sir. Will you mark Tom Boyle or Bluebird? Gad, I really must see my doctor. Hold my horse. Frankie. John. Hardy, Bird and Daddy. Come on, get the hunt started quickly. Hey, insomnia, blow your whistle. Let's kick off. Okie doke. <laughs> Sorry, sir. That's all right, best run I've had for years. Be rather a long check, sir. Well, let's just mount and go in. Right. Fred. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. There's the girl. I think Hans went through here, sir. Well, Hans went through here, sir. What are we hunting? Don't worry, boss. Everything is going to be hotchy totsy. You'll find something to name their woods, and it won't be gold. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> Dunwater Manor? No! Yes, we are. That's the name of the house we live in. Is it? Yes, yes. And I'd like to know how you came by this note.
Let's get over. What time are we looking for? Yes, what are you looking for? My tunic, I'm sure I'll have to be home. That just reminds me, I use it for an air cushion. Do a nice mess you've got us into. Yes, the police are outside. All together. What'll I do, boss? Bump them all? Oh, well, you washed up, you're through, you're finished. You understand? Get us out of this trouble, and you can keep your button. You, you renounce your power, oh great one, and give me my freedom. We'll give you anything if you only put us back. Back, oh master. Yes, back to where we were before we got the button. To hear is to obey. It shall be as if it had never happened. Come on, me Hurry up. I march his back. Goodbye, master. And a genie's farewell. Harvey wasn't there. He must have been way back again when we were six months ago. Except Harvey, you told Jellyback to leave him in the tree. That's right. Ah, well, the button has brought somebody a happy ending. Flavor, terrible tragedy, Flavor. Oh, and Ken, Flavor. I knew Jellyback was messing up again, the twisted. Ah, well, the show must go on. <laughs>